Hey everybody, Austin back again with another unboxing video. Uh, now as usual, you guys know I don't usually do unboxing videos frequently. I like to unbox stuff that is kind of special or rare or just unusual items I don't buy every day of the week. You know, I go out and I probably buy games every week, every other week, something like that. Uh, but I don't buy, you know, more obscure consoles and imports and stuff like that all the time you know this is usually a once every few months ordeal if that this year i've been buying more consoles than i typically do in a year so this year's been a little bit special in that regard but uh without further ado i've actually got a pc engine core graphics 2 here i'm going to be unboxing and um, i'm gonna go ahead and get started on that and this is something i've actually been meaning to pick up for uh, a while now mm, let's get rid of that so I don't show you guys my address again. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is mostly kind of a follow-up to my uh, PC Engine Super CD-ROM 2 unboxing, which I did a few months back. And I had picked up the Super CD-ROM 2 with the intention of using it on my Super Graphics. And then uh, it, was, it wasn't until after the fact I realized it looked really stupid. <laughs> Not so much that it looked really stupid, it's more the fact that it took up a ton of space and it took up too much space to justify in my entertainment center and I couldn't really work it in to my inter entertainment center properly and comfortably. So the, uh, the eventual goal was to get a core graphics, PC Engine core graphics, because they're much smaller. They're more specifically designed um, for, say, the Super CD-ROM 2 attachment uh, in mind. So. Here we go. The seller actually wrapped it up kind of nicely. I like it when they use this really, uh, the big bubble wrap. Gives it a lot of padding, so even if you throw it across the room, it'll probably still be okay. Ugh. Let's get the X-Acto knife back out. There we go, Core Graphics 2. Not the cleanest, and I knew that before getting it, but uh, it was the cheapest I've seen on these, uh, on eBay. I really should be going through places like uh, Rinku and, and things like that, where it's essentially middlemen, and you can basically pay a fee to a middleman, and they'll go and get you rare stuff, or just stuff you want anywhere in Japan from like, uh, Yahoo Japan auctions and stuff like that and generally items like these go far far cheaper in Japan because that's where they all are so um, it's like buying a Nintendo Entertainment System here in America they're super cheap but maybe they're worth more in Japan because they're not all over the place so I'm talking specifically our versions so uh, yeah I really should be doing that but I I don't think that far ahead so I usually uh, buy this stuff on eBay and uh, eventually, once I start working up a lot of funds, I'll, I'll eventually start having like a rink you fund and I'll start buying some obscure systems that way. But, uh, but this actually got the job done. I know this in particular wasn't as clean as I had hoped, but it's got everything with it. It's got the instruction manual uh, along with the serial number and stuff like that, which is nice. When I buy my consoles, I like to buy them complete because when I'm done playing them, I like to put them back in the boxes and put them in my closet. Uh, plus, there's the... I like having the boxes. I like pulling them out, looking at them. Uh, it's a piece of video game history, and I'm, I'm glad to be able to say I've got that piece of history. And Somewhere in my house, I can go take a look at it, show it to people that come over. Um, they're conversation pieces and whatnot. And it's just what I've always liked to do with my gaming consoles. So, you got the composite cables, which is actually the exact same one as my Super Graphics, I believe. AC adapter. And again, that might even be the same as my Super Graphics. You got a uh, standard controller, which is cool. Uh, the one that came with my Super Graphics is just about the same, almost, um, except that it's mostly blue and stuff like that. Um, this is actually the uh, uh, this is the uh, the version of the console, and this is how large the console is, mind you, and this is why I wanted it. Um, is you notice some have uh, an orange label on them. And some actually have a blue label, and I actually wanted the orange label one because my Super CD-ROM 2 attachment also has the orange on it as well. So it's basically going to be matching 
which was part of the intention. And um, had I bought one of these a long time ago, I probably would have gone with the blue one, not you know thinking about the Super CD-ROM too. But uh, yeah, here we go. So we got the attachment port here in the back, which is where you plug it into your attachments, and um, AV ports on the right hand side, AC powers on the left, and you got your power uh, button right here, and your controller port. So yeah, it's actually got a, a decent bit of weight to it, I'm surprised. I mean, it's not super heavy or anything, but it's, it, it's not quite like, you look at this and you think, oh man, this must weigh about the same as like an NES Famicom clone system or something like that, and this probably weighs about five, six, seven times more than that. It's actually got a tiny bit of weight to it despite how small it is, so, and that's pretty cool. So, as I mentioned guys, the, the big reason to get this was because of my Super CD-ROM 2 attachment. So let's go ahead and just plug it in so I can give you an idea of how large this is going to be. And that's it. That's the uh, Core Graphics 2 with the Super CD-ROM attachment. Now what's great about the Super CD-ROM attachment is that you don't need cards in here to run your CD-ROM games. It's got the Super CD-ROM BIOS already in here. It's got the extra memory already in here. And so, yeah, I don't have to have any cards plugged in. Essentially what I can do uh, is take my flash cart, my EverDrive, and just pop it right in. And just like that, just leave it in until I want to play a CD-ROM game, then I can just take it right back out. And um, pretty awesome stuff. Now the only card I will eventually want to get, uh, and the only one that I would theoretically need to play certain games, is the arcade card. And I will eventually get that because I'd like to eventually play, uh, geez, what's the shooter on it? Sapphire, I think. Yeah, Sapphire. So I want to eventually try to play Sapphire on this. Um, so I will eventually need a, an arcade card for this. And I'd also like to try to play Strider, uh, which I believe also requires an arcade card. I think those are two, some of the only games really worth using an arcade card for, not counting the fighting games, which I don't really care too much about because I can get those on modern day compilations and they're arcade perfect. So, but uh, Strider and Sapphire would be really cool to play on this. So to kind of put it into perspective, guys, ugh. In terms of size, let me go ahead and grab the old Super Graphics here and pop it into the Super CD-ROM 2. Ugh. Ugh. Look how huge that is. Ugh. It's massive. So, you know, you think... Ugh. Get back up there. So we got this versus this. And you can really see the size difference here. It is just crazy size difference. I mean, just look at that. So I love the Super Graphics. It's actually treated me very, very well over these last several years. I've had it for about two and a half or three years now, I think. And um, it's treated me very well. Again, with the flash cart especially, you just plug it in. And you just It's nice and thin. It doesn't take up much space in your entertainment center, like height-wise, so you can cram it away in some kind of hidden nook and you'll be okay. Um, but this uh, is much more ideal for the, the Super CD-ROM 2 attachment. So there you have it guys, the uh, the Core Graphics 2. Um, there's not really too much else to talk about. Uh, you know, it comes with this styrofoam and whatnot and I just got it all on my floor. And uh, basic box design, it's just got a slip cover for the top. Uh, the Super Graphics is actually the same way. And some systems in Japan did it like this. I think, actually, mostly the PC Engine, now that I think about it. The Super CD-ROM 2 attachment, though, actually comes in a physical box box that opens up from the top and you pull it out. Um, so, yeah, that's the front. And uh, that's basically it. Really cool-looking little system. Looking forward to hooking it up and actually bringing my Super CD-ROM attachment out and leaving it out so I can finally play some CD-ROM games. Um, I do have the Japanese version of Shadow of the Beast on the way, so I will get to play that shortly. And uh, yeah, I'll be looking into some other titles as well. Uh, I've actually owned Turbo Duos on multiple occasions, but I no longer have one because I got a Super CD-ROM 2 attachment. So 
Uh, but because of the size of the super graphics, I haven't been able to have it hooked up comfortably. So, um, but this should fix that. So I'll definitely be hooking that up later tonight. And uh, yeah, um, that's basically it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not sure when I will be back with other videos. I've been taking it easy lately, but uh, as always, you know, you can eventually expect some content from me sooner or later. Um, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you guys soon. Take care.